Okay, y'all. So today I am doing the multi-port fuel injection swap. <sighs> Man, it's kind of, I'm kind of scared of getting into it, but once I get started, I'm I'm already getting started now, so it'll be all right. I got the battery out. I got the intake tube off so far, and I just undid the clutch cable from down here so now I'm probably gonna grab my laptop and I'm gonna watch garage build Hondas on YouTube he has the best videos for multi-port fuel injection swap so you should definitely check him out garage build Hondas and uh, that's about it for now so let me get started and put you in loop mode not loop mode, time lapse mode. My bad. So, this is day two. And <coughs> Do that again. Okay, y'all, so this is day two. Let's see where I'm at now. All complete. Got it all in. Distributor. This was a big problem for me. Could not get it to run. Distributor wiring does not match whatsoever. The color, you can't put color to color. I swip swapped every freaking wire back and forth, back and forth, different wires. I finally got it. I'll put it in the uh, video so you can see it. And, uh, So, here's the old one, dual port fuel injection, multi-port fuel injection. Change the distributor, change the computer. If you have any questions about your multi-port, dual port, the multi-port fuel injection swap, I'll be happy to help you out because I got it pretty much figured out now. And these distributor wires, I have a, that picture I showed you. From the colors, what they look like, from what color to what color. So, you see that. And I got it to run good. It runs good. I got a new radiator hose. My own, mine was bubbled up. The whole radiator hose was huge and bubbled and it was kind of leaking out of here. I got all these hoses in here. The radiator hose here. There's a couple water hoses here. I put that T in. Put a T in right there. Connect those. And I still have some check engine lights. I gotta figure it out. So I have a few issues here I gotta figure out. Like why my speedometer isn't working. There's probably another wire in the distributor that's off or something. I don't really know. I'm gonna have to look up that. Look that stuff up. So. That's it. I think I got it all figured out. I'll show you my mess in here. There's my wires here, my computer. I gotta put it all back together nicely still. Put it behind the kick plate again. But <clears throat> the one thing is I don't have another clip for this wire here. That goes to B10. I don't have another clip to slide in there. So, I just have wire. 
twisted up at the end and shoved in there touching the prong it's working for now but I need to get to get an extra clip somebody could send me one that'd be nice if they have any but uh that's it. This is my PM6 ECU. I guess mine originally comes with a PM5. And I don't think it'll work. Actually, I didn't try it, but I don't think it'll work. But the PM6 works. And it runs. It was paying the butt at first, man. I was messing with it last night forever. <sighs> this morning, I kept. I swapped the wires around all the distributor wires and I finally figured it out and then I got it running a little bit because it was like kind of misfiring because I had them I had two wires that were backwards so then I ended up figuring out what those two wires are and as soon as I put those two wires right it just fired right up and ran perfect and idled so I just finished putting cooling I made a mess and the funny part is, when the battery was dying, I had to jump it to get it cranking. I had the Camry that's over there. I had it parked right here. And the freaking radiator hose blew on that thing. Here it is here. I've had that in this car. I'm going to run an auto zone and get a new one. I got lucky. It happened right here in the driveway. Look at that thing. It just ripped and started shooting right on the exhaust manifold. It was like... So much smoke. But yeah, I got it all done. There's the old one. A bunch of extra parts, a couple extra distributors. But got it all in. I had to buy a new distributor because one I got at the junkyard I guess was the wrong one too. I had it all hooked up and it wasn't the right one. So I went and got the right one at the store. Way overpaid at AutoZone. Paid way too much money. Hi babe. He's getting home from the park again. This is a spoiled little dog. Well, let's end this video a little short. I got the car all done. I got it parked out there in the street. I cleaned off the driveway. Let's take a little ride in this. Should be fun. Let me pull it out real quick.